hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel hello if you're new i feel like i start every lee stafford hair video talking about how nostalgic the brand is to me so i'm not going to do that today i promise but when i saw that you could buy a sachet of the hair growth hair mask i was transported back to oh gosh maybe 2013 2012 i first started my waitressing job i got my own money and i spent it on products that i thought was going to make my hair grow hence this line of products and the amount of money i must have spent on the hair growth range is ridiculous to think about the fact that it never worked for me <laughs> my hair was such bad condition not because necessarily the products but i was bleaching it every six weeks the bleach was overlapping it was not the best situation for my hair and no wonder I had to do a bit of a recovery phase following that. So no shade to leave Stafford there, but literally I thought it was gonna transform my hair and realized that I have to do a little bit more than just rely on hair growth products. So today I wanted to kind of go back, try it again, see if it works for me still, see what I feel like all this time later because it's been a really long time since I've used this range. I think because I kind of realized that Hair growth products are not the be all or end all. They don't necessarily have this scientific complex that means that your hair is gonna be transformed. It's consistency, it's using the best products for your hair, finding what works and elevating your routine. So that's ultimately what my channel is here to provide the information for, but I wanted to try again. And hopefully anyone else that's nostalgic about this product will join me in reliving our childhood a little bit. If you are still on the hunt for whether or not this works, I'm gonna share with you my first impressions of using it. It's far too long ago, what, like nine years that would have been? That's horrific. But yes, it would have been all that time ago. This obviously, I'm not gonna be showing you the fact that my hair's grown six inches after using this. But what I can do is tell you how this product feels now. And this type of product, generally, the more you use it, the better results you're gonna get. So what I'm gonna go and do is shampoo my hair. I've not washed my hair for about five days. So it's like needing a good, good wash and a good treatment mask. So let me go shampoo my hair, I'll be back. We can have a look at what the consistency is like, what the product's claiming to do, all of those good things. And of course, I'll show you at the end of this video, A, does it compare to how I remember it to be? And two, is it worth adding to your routine? So with that said and done, let's dive straight into the video. So I've just shampooed my hair. Let's open this bad boy up. Double the amount of Pro Growth Complex containing a unique blend of plant-based seed protein and vegetable protein for longer, stronger hair with nutrient-rich formulas that extract a natural peptide. The hair growth activation treatment works to anchor hair into follicles in the root. So it will help accelerated hair growth, strengthen and repair, reduce breakage, improve texture and moisturize at the scalp. This does advise to use after shampoo, which is fab. But I'm kind of looking into the ingredients and I'm not seeing any active ingredients that would really, really help specifically with hair growth based on my research and my understanding of kind of hair science. So I'm not quite sure that they should say more about the kind of like science behind it because having a protein within your hair mask is something that's not exclusive to hair growth i don't remember it smelling like this has it changed has anyone been in like an og fan of this it kind of smells like plastic baby toys that's probably a really niche way to <laughs> describe something but it has that like plasticky smell to it which isn't my favorite, I'll be honest. And the form of it itself is quite thin. Can you see how that's like disappeared into my hair completely? Hmm. Okay, so I've got every little bit out of this sachet. This is 20 mils my hair gets everywhere let's apply the rest of this specifically to the scalp and just massage it in obviously if it's claiming to be hair growth you want to make sure it's really in the hair follicles on the scalp but like i said this was never my 
miracle cure to growing my hair healthier when I was younger. Okay, that's all applied and yes, it's saturated my hair, but it's just a bit of a thinner consistency than I remember. I'm sure I used to buy the tub, so I'm sure I applied more than 20 mil to my hair. And also my hair was a lot shorter at the time of using this in the past. So all these different factors change, but this for me is probably just short of what I would need. So I wish it kind of come in like a 30 mil sachet but needless to say it's all kind of applied and in and massaged in where it needs to be so i'm gonna let this just sit on my hair for 30 minutes we'll see if there's any change at that point i need to do more in terms of understanding what makes this so particular because it just says it fertilizes follicles and creates a healthy environment on the scalp to help amplify growth for hair that won't grow past a certain length. And that was my problem, but actually, instead of trying to find something that has an active ingredient to help hair grow on the scalp, it was actually about, and this is my biggest learning over the last couple of years, is looking after my ends and preventing them from splitting. If your hair's not growing past a certain length, it's not because your hair's unable to grow. Chances are it's growing absolutely fine. It's the fact that it keeps snapping at the ends is where you're seeing it's not growing because it keeps snapping and therefore it's shorter and shorter and so I would put a lot more emphasis on treating the ends so that's hair masks that's hair oils to really hydrate and prevent kind of your hair snapping I've done a video on how to prevent split ends I need to do an updated one too but that's kind of a consideration if you're looking at spending tons on something that just claims to help with hair growth there's so many other things to consider that prevents your hair from being shorter so yeah with that said I'm gonna let it do things for half an hour. I'll check in, let you know before I wash it out and we shall see what I'm left with at the end of this video. Okay, so 30 minutes has been and gone. There's some drying, but not actually as bad as I thought at this point. So as you can probably tell, it's still like super moisturizing my hair, super saturated, which is great. The only areas that feel slightly drier are my ends, but not considerably. Do you know what I mean? I've tried worse that have been like a lot drier at this point so yeah all is kind of fine um it's just not wowing me in the way that my hair feels right now but obviously truth will be at the end where we'll see the result and see how well this has worked i'm really unsure what the results are gonna be at this point because it's not like the best feeling right now but it's not the worst and these types of things always kind of surprise me and like when i've had hair masks and got to this point I've just not been able to call it. So we'll see what the end result is like, but so far it's okay. It's just not the best. And I think it's because I could have done with a little bit more just to make my hair feel a little bit more saturated and a little better. But yeah, I mean, it's okay at this point. I don't know what else to say other than like, it's okay. And yeah, we shall see. And I'm just as excited to see the results as you guys are. Okay, so I've washed my hair and it's so frizzy and it was so hard to brush. Like, this is not the effect I want from a hair mask. If I put an oil for it, it will smooth it down, but I wanted to show you like what it looks like and the fact that I never get this result from a hair mask usually. Hmm. Just not particularly like moisturizing and thick and I've tried so many that are much, much better for my hair and I just don't believe that this is the miracle product you need to grow your hair you need hair masks that are going to hydrate that are going to prevent split ends that are going to prevent your hair from being dehydrated that really nourish that's going to do so much better good for your hair and like make it look nicer like this is not cute oh i'm really disappointed because that's not made my hair look very good at all oh that's a shame. Well, I wouldn't recommend this one. And I feel like the fact that it has hair growth and it's just a case of like, we need more information about why you claim that this is the case. But as a standalone hair mask and not taking that into consideration, this has not made my hair feel very nice at all. 
just not one I would recommend. So I think that saving money on this, get something like a Garnier hair food, which is really affordable. You get tons of uses and makes your hair feel so much better. No, I definitely recommend something that's just a lot more hydrating, especially at this affordable price point. I have specific videos where I talk about my hair care journey in terms of growing my hair longer and thicker. I've been on that journey. I can share with you my recommendations and those videos really, really detail what I recommend. I think there's three videos in total. I'll have them linked down below if you're looking to get more insights and just get a bit more educated on the different factors you can make in terms of really, really increasing just the health of your hair and the way it grows. This is not it for me. The way it's made my hair feel is not fun. I just wouldn't recommend it. So save your money, buy something else, even super affordable that just aims to hydrate and use that as a habit. You will thank me later. So yeah, that's that video. A little bit disappointing, but there we go. We have to try these things. And it's weird to go back to a product that I would have spent so much money on when I was younger and now concluding it's not for me. But that's the beauty of doing these videos and revisiting old favorites. So was there any old favorites that you used to use when you was younger? Let me know. I'd love to know. I'd love to try them too. But with that said and done, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.